Do your notes as you go along, as much as you can. Yeah, we'll be realistic, you might slack a bit, but just don't not do anything <laughs> yeah. at all, because that is my Believe serious us, regret. Believe us, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we did get told that I remember Christine Pickering coming and saying, if you haven't started making notes, I'll revise it, start from now. And we were still yeah. in September, and I was like, what's she on about? Like, I had my A-level kind of mentality in there, and my GCSEs, whereas... It's so and I would think you're last minute really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it entailed I would have done my work a lot yeah. earlier. It is doable. Just it is make sure that yeah. you, you keep organised. Definitely. I, I wasn't as stressed because in the first section because I was really organised yeah. but after yeah. Christmas yeah. I got yeah. really lazy and like yeah, and then true. after mm, I yeah. just this for these exams I've been too lazy and I've yeah. been stressing so myself out. Yeah. And it becomes at the end it's the memorising game yeah. and it's like oh no so you're not you know, you're not achieving your full potential because you've left it so late, even though you understand it. It's not worth it, just work from the word go. You need to give yourself time off as well. Though, don't Definitely, you? yeah. It's like you should work a little bit both. Yeah. yeah try not to do too much because that need costs to give yourself a break. Break. Yeah, if you don't mellow out, you will burn out, especially yeah. if you've crammed it in last minute and you've got all these lectures to read through. If you just keep going and not give yourself a day off, you will burn yeah. yourself out. That's, you'll that's the main like reason you need to pace yeah. yourself. That's why you need to have things yeah. organised. Yeah, you definitely. need to make sure because, I mean, we're all sort of guilty of that where we just think we're okay, we've got enough time and it comes yeah. to that closer to that deadline and you just mm. you know you don't then you can't have a break and yeah, it's, it's it's mentally and physically draining it you know you come mm. to the end of it and you just feel like oh my god am I gonna get through it but <laughs> you know that's why you know everything helping each other staying at the library as well it's mm. just it keeps you focused I, does, I used yeah. to swear by it I, I can't study at the library I have mm. to study at home but um we you did it really you, well together, yeah you really find inspired. like you when you get distracted in the library you kind of you look around everybody else is revising you like right I better get <laughs> yeah. back to it so it's pretty good it's definitely, definitely a resource to you using eating healthily as well yeah eating healthy. Make sure you don't get ill <laughs> yeah. so you don't get a cold yeah. the main thing is just organization yeah, yeah. Right. you just yeah. gotta keep yeah. organized i mean Seeing, treating patients, seeing them, um, is, mm. is the best experience. Um, yeah. You know, that's with all the workload that you get. When you start to see patients, you think, "Gosh, this is why I'm doing it," and it mm. just spares you on. But you just, the main thing is just keeping organised yeah. and making sure you, you know you're on track.